What's going on, y'all? It's true. It is uh, sleeting and fucking sleeting uh, in the M time. But uh, check this out, y'all. We got uh, three rappers. Three rappers that uh, got booked to a show in Detroit. Now, I don't know if it was set up or not, but I remember, anybody remember E-40 out of Cali? I mean, out of LA, I mean, yeah, California, you know, E-4-0. Well, he had a uh, book Biggie back in the days, right? He was to take, get on big ass, Biggie, notorious big ass back in the day. So he booked Biggie for a show and was ready to take him out. They him Biggie up. Somebody had to uh, put Big on the phone with E-40 because E-40 had the, 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 the goons out there. And, uh, you know, Somebody put him on the phone and they squashed this shit. Now these three rappers, all of them met in prison, which is irrelevant. You're supposed to turn your life around. Somebody booked them from, for a show, you know what I'm saying? And uh, they say over equipment issues, the show was canceled. So the show was canceled and these three rappers, all of them together has not been seen since the show was canceled. Y'all smell something funny, right? So, they've been missing since January the twenty first, right? Uh, the car that they was had, they was traveling in had OnStar, so they tracked the car, and it had been moved three different times. It was found with no license plate, uh, parked in some uh, some uh, apartments in Lansing, I'm thinking, and now the the the. the the families of our three C, the other two families found out that one family filed a missing person report for their son, one of the rappers. And then, then the other two families say, oh, shit, we ain't hearing no social media posts, no phone calls, all three of them gone. That's how the other two families found out. So this is a developing story. And uh, something smell funny about this, real fishy. And that's why I made the reference to how E-40 did Notorious B.I.G out in Cali, book the show, get ready to spank Notori B.I.G. ass, and somebody say it today, well, this smell just like that. Uh, or could be coming from their prison days, but uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description box, so, well, as a matter of fact, a couple of them, so y'all can, uh, y'all can check it out, and, uh, <laughs> shit, this is sound real, real set up -ish to me, and then I'm going to play this video right now and let the, uh, that y'all watched the, one of the families speak about how they found out her son was missing along with the other two partners. My name True. Like, share, subscribe. I always support. And uh, let's, let's keep a close eye on this one. And uh, this should be easy to find out who set these dudes up by social media posts before uh, the police actively uh, trying to get the camera footage and shit, you know what I'm saying, the uh, license plate reader footage and all that, and uh, we'll, keep, we'll keep an eye on this. Cash out true results, dollar sign true results number two, as y'all can see, uh, it's snowing like a bitch uh, everywhere. I gotta go, true. I don't wanna be Dateline and wait 20 years to find his body. Armani Kelly's missing persons flyer sits in a pizza shop window in North Lansing. This is our home, so that's why I came here. We did all these areas. We're just now finishing up. Lori Kemp has been physically searching for her son since last week. Kelly's a rapper. He came to Detroit on January 21st to perform at Lounge 31. His fiance says he texted her to say it was canceled. Then he stopped answering his phone. Monday rolls around and we still heard nothing. And that's when she went and filed the missing persons report. And then I drove four hours to pick her up and then three hours to Detroit. Kemp was forced to file a police report in Oscoda because that's where she last saw her son. But after tracking his car, she realized it had moved three times in the city of Warren, ultimately found here at this condo complex by police. I'm doing everything I possibly can 
I'm out there hitting the roads, hitting the pavement. Where is the police department? They didn't do their job. Kemp feels like her cries were ignored until police agencies in multiple jurisdictions, including Detroit, realized two other men, Dante Wicker and Matoya Givens, were also missing, and they were reportedly riding with Kelly to the show. The fact that the three of them are missing together is very concerning and very alarming for, for us. Kemp thinks her son may have been set up by someone he met behind bars. I'm angry because you did eight years in prison and you didn't die. And now you come out and they kill you. He's dead. I don't care. I love that people are optimistic. And I love that they think there's hope. I know in my gut I'm the mother. Do you have the same feeling as Lori that he is no longer alive? I can't think like that. I, I can and I do, but I will not believe it until I see proof.